Okay, here's a good question. Is there anything about the transplant life that you consider to be absolutely positive? That is, regardless of the situation, regardless of who it is, this is absolutely universal. It's true about everyone, and you think everybody ought to know about it. That's kind of a head scratcher for me. You know, oftentimes, even after I finish these videos, after it's edited, uploaded, and even been on the internet for weeks or months, I go back and see snippets or maybe entire videos that I've produced, and I begin to question, Jim, is that absolutely positive? Is that universal to everybody? And sometimes I may say, no. The information may be true. It may be accurate. All that's true about most of my videos. At least I try to make it that way. I study. I research. I try to live the life and see how it is. But there are certain things that I'm just not sure absolutely apply to everyone. But there's one thing that I absolutely know is positively, without exception, universal to everybody. And that is in order to live the transplant life successfully, you have to be positive. <laughs> I mean by that, have a positive outlook, a positive attitude. Keep your mind in the game, if you will, not only pre-transplant, but also post for the rest of your life. You already know if you're a transplant patient or even if you're just waiting, like many of you are, that there are going to be bumps in the road. There are going to be ups and downs. There are going to be situations where you thought everything was going perfectly, but for whatever reason, things just fell apart. I've had people more than once make comments on videos and such as that or, or on Facebook posts, whatever it is, and they use that old phrase, I think that's universal, kind of cliche to us, but they say, you know, why can't I catch a break? <laughs> I know that's the way life feels. I know that's the way your life feels oftentimes probably, but the truth is you need to stay positive. Now, the way to do that is by surrounding yourself with positive people. That is, if they're not people in your family, in your friend group, as far as people you contact on a regular basis, if they're not people that are cheering you on, trying to remind you that things are, are, are well as they are and they're only going to get better, you're not going to make it. You need help and support. On the other side of that, when you find yourself getting frustrated, getting down, and getting kind of a negative attitude, which I'll admit I get a lot, then you need to look for people who are in worse shape than you are. As we said when we were in school as little kids, in worser shape than you are. Because there's always someone out there who's struggling more than you are, and you can be an assistant to them. If not, then just by seeing their situation, you can look for the positives in your life and you can make yourself better. You can make yourself, you know, really, really, really have a better chance. Hope this has helped you in some way, and until next time, stay stronger, friends.